But here's a question. Has anyone in this room ever taken their laptop to be fixed? Did you hear that deafening silence? <laughs> Burn it, Russ. Smash it with a hammer. Get rid of the secret. <laughs> it's terrifying. Holding onto your laptop. Suddenly, as you walk into the shop, all the ghosts of porn past <laughs> spill out of the laptop. It's like carrying a hostage through a border. Like any second, the laptop is just going to go, Help! I've seen so many things! Kill me! Why do men hoard porn on laptops? Why? And phones as well. Every man in this room has taken a picture of his dick on his phone. <laughs> Don't act like you haven't. You've taken it low, squeezed it at the base so it looks massive. <laughs> Put a mini pack of cereal there. Is that a full-size pack? Yeah, baby. We've all mucked around. <laughs> but you can tell the blokes that have got rude pictures on their phone, because they'll go, all right, do you want to see a picture of my dog? And you'll go, yeah, give us the phone. And they'll go, no. <laughs> I'll hold it. I'll hold my phone in a vice-like grip. <laughs> Don't swipe left. Don't swipe left, Mum! <laughs> it's gonna be a whole generation of men whose dying words are, restore factory settings! <laughs> it's terrifying. This honestly happened. I'm holding onto my laptop, and does your brain ever mess with you for no reason? You know? You might be near a bridge, and your brain goes, <gasps> what if you jump in? <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. Eating wheat and bits in the morning. <gasps> what if you put your dog in the microwave? <laughs> be a nightmare if you beheaded your mum. Imagine how upset everybody would be. <laughs> this is what happened to me. Holding onto my laptop, before I handed it in, my brain honestly went, Stop! What if you're a paedophile? Right? <laughs> I'm not! I'm not! Calm down! That isn't the big reveal. Look at you like, yeah, another BBC story. Fucking knew it. <laughs> but I genuinely. I had this thought in my head going, what if I am a paedophile? And I'm not, of course I'm not. I couldn't even bone a hobbit. And yet, <laughs> I got so scared, I honestly found myself thinking, what if my little brother, in the dead of night, has gone onto my laptop, gone on Google, and just put little kid's dicks, search. <laughs> because I've done that to him. Do you know why? Because last year, he put me on Grindr. So let's call that one all. <laughs> well, that was good. People over there are aware of Grindr, my friends. Some people at home. Grindr is an app for promiscuous gay men. <laughs> Two weeks I was on there. <laughs> Russell Howhard caused quite a kerfuffle. 